This is James Roney Staters with FreeMagneticEnergy.info. I'm back after a long absence on top of another long absence, and I'm now back on target. I am sorry for the delays, but life has its ups and downs, and sometimes some things are inevitable. Um, I'm shocked. I'm impressed. I just, when I went back to my YouTube channel and was checking email, Anywhere from 5 to 10 people a day are still signing up and subscribing and wondering where all this is going to go. Um, believe me, though, my downtime, I've been doing a lot of research, and I'm really excited now where the project will be going. Now, I've noticed in the last couple of years, a lot of people have gotten excited about looking at uh, the alternatives and possibilities of free energy, more so free magnetic energy, and the amount of uh, videos out there is impressive. In fact, many people now have been fooling with my wheel idea. But I failed to find anybody who's been working with the uh, magnetic contoured runway plates. We'll get back to that here eventually. Um, but anyway, here nor there. Here's the riddle for you. This is an aluminum plate. And for those of you who don't know, uh, magnets don't attract aluminum. Now, this is a... This is a 2 inch by 4 inch by 1 half inch thick neodymium magnet. If you were to put this magnet, this is a big hunk, on a big thick bar of steel, good luck getting it back off. This is one serious mother hudgen magnet here. So, as you can see, this magnet does not pick up the aluminum disc. My question to you is this. And I think I know the answer, but here's the riddle. If the magnet doesn't pick up the disc, then how come when I move the magnet back and forth without touching the disc directly, the disc suddenly moves? Here you go. You have to stay pretty close to the disc, but it moves. Yet, it won't pick it up. The same goes... With a, here's a big, thick little block of aluminum right here. Nice block of aluminum. Okay. And, as you can see, the magnet doesn't pick this up either. Yet, if you wave the magnet back and forth, it moves. Now, my theory is this is that when you move the magnet across the aluminum plate, it momentarily sends up, uh, sets up an electric induction field. And um, maybe eddy currents, I'm not really sure here. And so in this moment, we're transferring electrical energy to this. We're energizing this a little bit electrically, and this is then interacting with the magnet. But if you do it slowly, it doesn't do it. I can feel it, though. I can feel the, the, the magnet interacting. And when I push it straight down, I can feel the aluminum, this plate, aluminum plate, pushing back upwards, up, towards the magnet as I set it down. Now, there are videos on YouTube showing where they have a big block, a thick block of aluminum, and a big, big magnet. And they drop the big neodymium magnet straight down on the aluminum, and it lands softly. It's amazing to watch. Anyway, that's your riddle for the day. Um, I'm back, and this time I should remain consistent. I have a new lab. And with that thought in mind, this is James Roney Staters with free magnetic energy.info.